in. Welcome back to Talk Smack with Mac. We are doing a 2021 first round mock draft pick for the Miami Dolphins. Are you ready? Let's talk smack. And I'm sitting backstage and I'm eating my carrots. I'm dipping them in a ranch. And Skip Bayless's half-brother walks by me. I said, shit, I need to pull him to the side and get him on this segment. Skip Bayless's half-brother, Trent. How you doing, baby? I'm here to talk to Smack with Mac. Man, you pulled me to the side. Let's pod. We got to. We got to. And just for your other fans, I got to let them know, you go by the name of Ahmad Rashad Jr., Stephen A. Smith's little cousin. And I already told you about Skip Bayless, baby. And, and, and me and Jalen Rose share the same barber. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the, the hairline is blessed. The man, hairline man. is blessed. Yeah, I heard his, he charges a lot, Jalen Rose, man. I heard he's charging like $81 a haircut. I ain't gonna, put, I ain't gonna put my man, I ain't gonna put no hands in my man pockets. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. So we talking That's the right. Dolphins, man. I'm, you know, the Dolphins have been low-key trash for a long time. But what yeah. they have done the last couple of years have been absolutely fantastic. They nice. made a, a, made a believer in me. They really changed my opinion of that team. That defense is fucking put together very, very well. And the trade, when they traded away uh, Laramie Tunsil and they acquired those picks from the Texans and the Texans imploded, the draft capital stupid. that they got has now set them up to be absolutely fantastic for the future. And you know what they do? They go out and they acquire some more. They trade down a little bit more with the 49ers. They accumulate what, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, three more first round picks for trading down. Yeah. And they are sitting at that sixth spot. Ready to make some fire happen. All right. Before I ask your opinion, okay. you know, uh, I'm checking out the ESPN mock draft. You know, a little reference to let me know what they think where their head is at. And they have Devontae Smith. Wide receiver, Alabama, best receiver in the draft. Second. Going to the Dolphins. You are insane. Devontae Smith came in, broke all the records, did all the things, made his teammates look better. The guys next to him, Mac Jones, you you might go in the top five because of him. Okay. Come on, bro. Yeah. Best receiver in the draft, hands down. <laughs> Who's better than him? You said second who? The guy who went before him in the ESPN mock draft, Jamar Chase. The dude who was breaking all the records the year before. Okay. And his teammate, Justin Jefferson, is on the Vikings now. And he made him look second best. So, what I'm saying is, is Devontae Smith out here looking like a long distance runner. While Jamar Chase is out here looking like a football player. Buffed up, ready to go, catch these thousand yard passes. And we're going to get out here, we're going to do our thing. Ain't nobody worried about Devontae Smith. He's nice, but he's second. Okay, but you know Jamar, I kind of feel like he, reason. he didn't do what he needed to do. People he forgot didn't play about last year. He I know left. he didn't do what he needed to do. COVID. He got forgot about. COVID. Do you think he he did enough in that Joe Burrow final se- oh uh, Joe Burrow single season? Second, yeah, he played two. Let me put uh, some we ain't gonna talk about the first name. one. He had a single good season, yeah, which put some respect you know, my guy got him going. Let's go. But did did uh, Jamar Chase do enough to credit himself as the number one guy if he didn't play last year? Yes, he solidified himself the year before. If he would have came out the year before, he would have been the best wide receiver in the draft. Okay, do you think that year, that he 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 killed it? So he was like, I'm gonna sit out because I don't even want to risk anything. Here's what I think happened with the kid. I think that when you think about COVID, very serious situation, nobody really knew what was going on. I can't really, you know, bash you for that. But when you think about the talent that was on the team, who was quarterback? I don't know. You don't know. I'm not about to come in here and play with these second string dudes yeah, and make take me, all my make stuff Yeah, lose down. my drive. Right, I was killing last year. I'm all not right. coming in and playing with the B squad. They all right, go. I got you. I got you. So you got uh, ESPN has the Dolphins taking Devontae. Let me read a little bit of what ESPN has here. The dreams of Miami landing Pitts or Chase died here. So they already said, hey, Jamar Chase, that's that guy. He's going before. One for a reason. So it, it looks like both you and ESPN is wrong because he is not better than Devontae, bro. Live in a current. Devontae came out, played with the with the mental fatigue of worrying about the pandemic and still performed to the highest level. This is the best guy in the draft. And when they get taken next season, he's going to go on and prove it. He was on Alabama last year. 
And Alabama had Henry Ruggs, Jalen Waddle, Jerry Judy. Wasn't nobody talking about no Devontae. Devontae who? Because he wasn't being talked about last year. Mm -hmm. Jamar Chase was putting up numbers, winning national championships. Everybody else going in the first round. Here come Devontae last. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, uh, let me me hit uh, my guy in the back. Uh, Devontae just won a championship too, right? He I think he did. He oh, yeah. Hey, hey, I got half. the confirmation. He didn't play the second half. He didn't need to. Neither he didn't did need Jamar to. didn't need to play he a full a season. To. And he's still first above him. He didn't play a, a half. All right, so we ain't this, seasons let, hey, we still so there's play. there's argument, you know, Jamar Chase is another neither here or there. There's argument within the Alabama organization saying that who's better, Devontae or uh, Jalen Waddle, his teammate. You know, a choice that could go either way. ESPN is saying that Waddle is faster and more explosive after the catch, while Smith uh, Smith is far more advanced as a route runner and hands catcher with more success against press coverage. You know, one thing about press coverage and having great short handed uh, hands and route running. I think of Chad Johnson, Chad Ochocinco. You put that man in the phone box, and he will come up with the ball. He is that guy. Devonte Smith can be that guy. He could be physical. He could do what you need. At the receiver position. Who's going to put some weight on him is my question. In time, in time. These boys <laughs> yeah. are young, man. You know, it takes some time getting with the right people. Jamar, we right already, system we already and shit. got the we, weights. We, beef, we already good. We're going to beef them boys up. We but gooch. anyways, the Dolphins take the receiver. They give the receiver to Tua to add Finally. to that growth. You Finally. know, they're building a young, dynamic offense that it, it takes time. You build these pieces one at a time, and then next thing you know, a few years goes by, you have one hell of a team. Let's Let's get it right here like this. Here's what I'm saying. I don't disagree with the Dolphins taking Devontae. If you can't get Jamar Chase, Devontae is second best. That's not a bad pick. Does Tua need some help on the outside? Yes, when you're thinking about Devontae Parker and Mike Gusecki. He needs some help. Yeah, you know, you need need some help out there. Not even Fitzmagic can make all the moves. Come on now, you know what I mean? mean? So so we need some help out here. So Devontae is definitely a step in the right direction. I think he needs to add some weight. I think he is the best route runner in the draft. I think he is a better route runner than Jamar Chase. But if we're talking about all around, Jamar Chase is just a freak, man. He's a freak. But if we put Tua back with his old teammate, I'm rolling. And we Mm -hmm. got uh, Brian Flores, Mike Epps. Mike Epps the second. He out here killing. He out here got him going. You know yes, what I'm saying? Sir. Christian Wilkins out Believe here jumping over people. Yes. Xavier Howard is out here picking everything off left and right. Get you some help on the offensive side so we can win some games. I'm trying to be in Miami. I got you. Know you. Hit my line, Rick Ross. Come on, baby. Come on, All right, so Devontae Smith, player comparison, current or former, who does this guy remind you of? Who does he remind me of? You know what? You gave us a little bit. Of a of a of a precursor to there yes. with Chad Johnson. I love the feet work. I love how he gets off the line. I think he could put even a little bit more sauce on it. I like him and Justin Jefferson. If I had to say a current player that he's like, I would give him Justin Jefferson. Very slight in the build, can kind of catch everything, can run inside, outside. Just put a little bit of weight on, fam. You know, get get with your grandma. Get somebody need to yeah, make you some back and cheese. Get that grandma home you know cooking I mean? with the need biscuits to get you and the butter, baby. Cause come on. Dolphins, a you know. hey, Stephen A's little cousin has spoken. You take Devontae at uh, at number six. You build onto that core on the offense. It's a done deal. We out. All right.